What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Underground Paint King, back with another video. And today, we setting up paint guns. I was asked to do this video, so I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. Now, I'm gonna give you some pretty general tips that you probably can find somewhere else on YouTube. But I was asked to do this, so I'm gonna do it and show you how your boy do it. Let's go. All right, so setting up your paint gun for if you're painting in a garage or if you're painting in a paint booth. You got your fan and you got your fluid. If you're painting at home, You want to set your gun up to where your fluid tip, you want to open it up to where you have two to three, let me get that in there, two to three threads showing. And that's not the best to see, but maybe that's a little bit better. Two or three threads showing. Then for your fan pattern, open it all the way up. Now, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a good pattern. You want your pattern to uh, be even. So as you can see, I got a couple examples behind me. I got some where I made a circle because I had the fan completely closed. So it just sprayed out a bunch of material, but it had, you know, no fan pattern. So it made a circle. But as I started adjusting my fan, I started getting a pattern. And that's what you want. Now here, I got this little run because I was too close. So remember, you want to be six to eight inches away from you know, whatever panel that you're painting. Now, when you spray and clear, you can be a little bit closer. You know, you can, depending on what kind of gun you got, stuff like that, there's a lot of different things that varies when it comes to paint guns, materials, things of that nature. So, you know, maybe we can get into that a little bit later. But in this video, I'm trying to show you how to set up your gun. So, at home, now that you got your spray pattern and you got your even setting, like I said, two to three threads showing, open your fan up, and then if it's kind of looking a little funny, close your fan just a, maybe a quarter turn and you should be good to go. But you got to play with it, you got to adjust it, you know. Like I said, I don't know what type of gun you might be using. You might be using, you know, an expensive gun. You might be using a cheap gun. So you gotta adjust it until you find that sweet spot. You'll see a lot of videos where people are just trying to tell you, you know, set it here, set it there. D different things, you know, changes how your gun is gonna be set up. You know, it's uh, so many variables to paint you know so you got to set it up so it's set up to where you are comfortable not what works for me but what works for you that's how you got to set it up that's what it's all about that's what this channel is all about setting it up to where you are comfortable not telling you what i do and that's what you should do because what i do might not work for you it's all about adapting and making your own you know you, you, you get some type of skill or some type of information from somebody and then you make it your own. So that's what this is about. Back to the subject. So also when you're painting at home, painting in a garage and you don't have a paint book, you want to set your gun between 14 to 20 PSI. That's where you want to be at. 
mainly because you're not in a paint booth. When you're in a paint booth, you can adjust your PSI higher because when you're not in a paint booth or you're just spraying in a garage, you're going to get a lot of overspray. If you're spraying at, you know, 25, 30 pounds of pressure, you're just gonna have a big mist. And it don't matter how many fans you got. And I know plenty of you guys have probably done it. And, you know, you got a bunch of house fans and maybe you have a squirrel catcher or something like that, you know, which is the fan out of a furnace. So let's say, you know, you got all of that running, that helps but it don't get it out fast enough like a paint booth fan. So, what you wanna do is, you wanna eliminate all that overspray that you're putting out in the atmosphere. So you turn the air down and let the gun break the material down like it should. Now, when you're in a paint booth, you can go 25 to 30 PSI because you got those fans to pull out the overspray. So now, you know, you can just, you can pound it on if you need to because you don't have to worry about that. It's, it's pulling it out as quick as, you know, you putting it out the gun. So you're putting material down on the panels and your overspray is being pulled, you know, away from the panels from your paint booth or you know your fans so when you're in a paint booth you want to set this up to where you know you wide open on your fluid you pretty much wide open on your fan but again you got to adjust it every game every paint gun is not the same so you got to adjust it find the sweet spot do what's best for you you know and play around with it man get you a piece of paper you know, just like I did here, get you something that you can spray on, adjust your gun, you know, until it's to your liking. Not what I do, you know, or not what everybody else you see doing on YouTube. Do it for you, you know, and what you are comfortable with and how you can do it and what you like. That's what it's all about. So I hope this uh, short little video helps uh, helps you out. I know I ain't get all into a whole bunch of details, but like I said, it's just going to be some general information. Uh, basically, until you put a gun in your hand, start doing it yourself. That's the only way you're going to figure this stuff out. You know, somebody telling you what to do, that ain't going to get it. You know, you're going to have to put it in your hands, baby, and play with it. You dig? <laughs> but, you know, um, that's what it is, man. So, I hope uh, it helps you out. And don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. And this is your boy, man, the Underground Paint King. And we out. I sacrifice everything to be a